I'm Nick Highland, and with the gentle sun beating down on your face and the warm water underneath the kayak, think of how great this sounds right now. That's not only a possibility, but it's actually a really strong possibility. Um, kayaking is a great activity for all ages, and in the next few minutes I'm going to be telling you about the possibilities, the research I've done, and why we all should support this. So I did a little research, and I found out that we're not the only town without it, but there's definitely a lot of other towns with it. And so I looked up some towns, and Manchester, in fact, has it. And they and I called over, and they haven't had any issues with it at all. They said their citizens there love it, and it gets used daily on nice days in the summer every day. Um, it would... It's a great benefit to our community, and it would be available through the Parks and Rec. And I talked to Matt a little bit, and he said it was a strong chance that this could happen. And so my second point, there's a lot of reasons to be on board with this, including it's great exercise, and it would be free. So you don't have to pay for a gym membership or anything like that, because it's a free activity. And you burn 350 calories per hour. If we go for three hours, that's over a thousand calories. It promotes great exercise and it's great for the community. And, like I said, it's not just an idea, but since I, when I talked to Matt about it, or not Matt, Brad, sorry, Brad Barker, <coughs> I talked to him about it and he said that there was a couple of concerns like safety and money but the money one really wasn't that big of an issue, he said, because we could get grants and donations from the community members and stuff like that to purchase the kayaks and purchase life jackets and paddles and just what the stuff that you need for it. The biggest one that he talked about was safety, like what if somebody drowns while you're kayaking? So there would obviously have to be some safety precautions that you would have to need to take while doing this. And another one was, what was it? Oh, like theft. And like if you break it, what happens? And we, he pretty much just said that there would need to be something like if you break it, you have to pay for the damage and just stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah. and then, so I did a lot of research actually, and I interviewed 15 kids of all different grades, and as you can see, 100% of them were for the kayaks. And I said, why do you guys, why are you guys for this? And they are like, well, it'd be great, to, it'd be a great thing to do, and we go up to, one kid said that they go up to a place in Decorah and rent them, and they said it's really expensive sometimes if you take a big group and just stuff like that. And he said that if they had it locally, they would do it a lot more often and it would be a lot less of a hassle to get everybody up there and get it going and everything. And so another kid actually said that <coughs> he would use it every day. And I was like, really, even on the rainy days, man? And he said, yes, even on the rainy days. So we'll see about that. And so as you can see, I did the research and I called over and talk to people about making this a possibility. And so the next time you are wondering what to do on a boring day in the summer, you can think, hey, I'll go kayaking now, because this could be a great possibility in Benton sometime soon. Thank you. So Brad was kind of in favor of it, huh? Yeah.